In this tutorial, we're going to see how to work with the rigid solver. We're going to generate the rigid node. As there is no other fluid in the scene, the entire real flow system will be created automatically. Since rigid is a type of deformer, we need to drag it to the geometry we want to deform. Once we connect the rigid to the geometry, new particles will be generated inside the geometry volume and they deform the geometry using a skin particle included within the rigid. In addition, we must take into account the collision surface for the geometry to know where these particles are going to be generated. So we check it by adding a real flow tag to the geometry together with the volume tag. Inside the display tab, we activate the geometry of collision with the fluid. When simulating, the distance field is calculated by displaying the collision geometry for this geometry. That collision surface will be filled up with particles when using a rigid node. To adjust the collision surface, we must do it with the volume tag. To see any change to the surface collision, we need to simulate a frame. This way, by modifying the cell size parameter, we adjust the collision surface. that the tag collider is helping us to adjust the value of the collision surface, but we do not want the fluid to collide with the geometry. So once we have adjusted the surface collision, we remove the collider tag. We're going to add a gravity demon to the real flow scene. Since there is only one type of fluid in the scene, in this case rigid type, it is automatically added to the gravity demon. If we simulate now, we see that the geometry is being deformed by using the particles. The cause of this problem might be the little resolution in the fluid or that the distance field is not well adjusted or that the surge distance in the rigid parameters is small. We are going to increase the value to 60 and simulate. We are going to add another collision tag for the cube, which will have the rigid link to it. We are seeing that the geometry of the plane is going through the geometry of the cube. This is because the particles that control the geometry of the airplane need to be readjusted when they collide with the cube geometry. Select the collision tag and remove the out checkbox to access the interaction distance parameter. The interaction distance will be affected when the particles collide with the geometry. To adjust the collision distance between the geometry and particle, we need to modify the collision distance parameter. To modify this parameter, we adjust the colliding distance between the rigid and the geometry. We are going to leave a value of 15 for collision distance and activate the update for interaction distance again as it is not necessary this time.
friction value in the collider tag to prevent the particles from sliding over the cube surface. And simulate. In order to affect several geometries with a rigid fluid, we must first duplicate the geometries. We place them in the scene as we wish. children within a null. In order for the rigid to affect all geometries inside a null, we must include the rigid also as a child of the null node. All geometries will be affected by the rigid node if they are children in the same null node. If we simulate, we will see how all the planes are falling down. We're going to activate the GPU to speed up the simulation. Now we are seeing that geometries are not colliding correctly between them. Keep in mind that these geometries are controlled by particles. To avoid this problem, we need to increase the steps for simulating. now and see that the geometries are colliding better. Increasing the particle resolution will also help to have a better collision between particles but it may be necessary to modify the steps to simulate. 